impact. No impact. Well, I, I don't think it's unusual. To, it's always been selling on the roof and tower.
and you're listening to it. Local radio. Support the advertisers of the perfect radio station. And keep listening. We won't send you a bill. There are still some things you just shouldn't have to pay for. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pick up is free and your donation... and other cherished mementos they thought were lost during Superstorm Sandy. People who find photos and articles can scan or photograph them and upload the images along with details of where the items were found and other identifying characteristics. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News. Uh, in addition to Larry Hagman's, there has been another show business obituary. Actress Deborah Raffin has died of leukemia. She played Aunt Julie in the show Seventh Heaven. She also co-starred with Pierce Brosnan in Noble House. Deborah Raffin was 59. This is ABC News. When people say this during the holidays, what do I want? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a gift card. What they really need is... I want the new GLK, and I want it now. I want to pull into work in an SUV that looks sweet. I want to head out of the open road and one that handles sweet. That GLK is awesome. Come into the Mercedes-Benz winter event for some of our best offers of the season on some of the most well-engineered cars on the road today. Right off in the all-new 2013 GLK with nearly 1,000 refinements. And the next time someone says, This is the best gift I've ever gotten. They do, in fact, mean, This is the best gift I've ever gotten. Get the 2013 GLK 350 4 Matic at 2.49% APR for 24 to 36 months, or at least one for just 419 a month for 30 months with 4,713 due at signing. Hurry in, the Mercedes-Benz winter event ends soon. Available only to qualified customers exclusive to Mercedes-Benz financial services. A participating dealer's been November 30th, 2012. Call one 800 and for mercedes for complete details. Find your local Mercedes-Benz dealer on the web at searchmercedes.com. For everything Mercedes-Benz in the tri-state area, searchmercedes.com. Like fish on with all them guys say, come on, man. Hey, I started that on you. 20 years ago. You did? Yes. Hello? That's right. Hello. Hello. I was in the morning. So you never said, come on, man, the way they do. Well, they stole it. They put it different in. For some, they didn't steal anything from you. What did you mention? We got a new one now, something else about this. What, let's go okay. to the video take it. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the morning. Mornings at 6, 77 WABC. Dry IHOP's loaded country potato. Party choices, each served with eggs and pancakes. IHOP, everything you love about breakfast. Available for a limited time at participating restaurants. These have been a very difficult two years, but the storm is receding and the skies are bright. From Wall Street to Main Street. We believe free market capitalism is the best path to prosperity. The Larry Kudlow Show. Where money meets politics. He's a former associate director with President Reagan's Office of Management and Budget. He's a CNBC News host. And right now, he's on the radio. Call 1-888-KUDLOW-2. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Larry Kudlow. This is the Larry Kudlow Show. Thank you for being with us today. Our contact is 1-888-583-5692. We welcome back to the show two regulars, David Malpass, the president of Encima Global, and a former Reagan uh, Treasury Department advisor, and John Tamney, the editor of Real Clear Markets and the editor of Forbes Opinions. Welcome, gentlemen. A couple things I want to talk about. Um, can be political, could be economic. Um, let me begin with John Tamney. John, there is all of a sudden 
right after the re-election of President Obama, surprise, surprise, labor militancy, labor militancy. And I had the, uh, the distinct unpleasure of interviewing some of these labor militants, um, one of the heads of the union, the Baker's Union, that uh, helped to close down, liquidate Hostess Twinkies, or whatever they call themselves now, Hostess. Second, I interviewed the SEIU president, who was closing down airports on the West Coast, boggles the mind, Thanksgiving. And third, I didn't interview, but you have these outside agitator groups uh, trying to, um, to do some damage to Walmart. So these are old stories coming back. And I wonder what you make of this labor militancy. Well, I, I think the timing kind of makes sense. You've got a president who's somewhat made or has been uh, supported heavily by labor. Labor is increasingly irrelevant, so I think that explains um, Walmart right now. Uh, Black Friday is a big story, and so what better time than to strike uh, the right now or to protest, despite the fact that the workers line up to work for Walmart. I think if you look at Hostess, I maybe have a different view of that. I'm not defending the labor union second. I think they're showing yet again why they're so pointless. Um, they, they're literally going to bring a business under. But I guess what I would ask is the question of is why in an advanced country like ours are we still creating hostess problems? so that Americans can do higher value work here. John Tammy, how can you produce hostess things offshore? It's like an American institution. <laughs> It's an American institution. I don't know about all of them. I don't know about all of them. Huh? It's the ultimate compliment. It's kind of like Apple. We, we designed the Apple iPhone here, but we, we just designed them overseas. But the, the, the division of labor is what helps us create so much wealth. Workers Union. 